Burr is kind of a weird, complicated thing, and I don't think anyone really has a good, thorough understanding of what's going on with burr in grinding. We got a pretty good handle on burr in other types of machining operations, but in grinding, still a bit of a mystery. But first, let's say this. If you're looking for a grinding wheel or a set of parameters that will eliminate burr, forget it. You will never eliminate burr. The best you can do, and even this is pretty tough, is reduce burr. Okay? A lot of people come to me and they say, hey, can you recommend a grinding wheel that will eliminate burr? And I say, nope. And they say, oh, I got a grinding wheel salesman who says he's got a wheel that will eliminate burr. I say, okay, try it out. Give me a call when you're done, after you've tried it. Because we're never going to eliminate it, we're just going to reduce it. Now, in terms of reducing burr, there are some things you can do. The first thing is you want your wheel to be sharp. Dress it sharp, keep it sharp. Second thing you want to do, especially if you're doing something like creep feed grinding, is you want to keep temperatures cool. One theory of grinding burr is that the top layer at high temperatures becomes soft and just sort of shears over. It just kind of pushes itself over. So we want to keep the bulk temperature down. We do that by getting coolant within the pores of the wheel, and we do it by blasting the workpiece at the entry exit points especially the exit point where the uh, burr is bad, to suck away some of that heat to keep that region at the end where temperatures are getting high and the material is becoming soft and being sheared over, keep that temperature down. So two things, keep your wheel sharp, cool in the arc cut and all around the burr. And even then, burr is kind of nasty and tricky. So what I can help you with is reduce the burr and then maybe it'll be easier to deburr in the end, but we're never, never going to eliminate it. We're just going to reduce it so it doesn't look big and nasty like this guy.